Jansen, director of the Speed School inside the South Reno Athletic Club. And I'm going to start doing these video series as part of our newsletter that we're going to start releasing to gym members and then just anybody I can kind of get a hold of that's an athlete or just that's generally interested in training. And then I'm just going to break down different topics that I still, still hear people talk about. This first topic that we're going to talk about is a myth that I still hear it's resounded amongst parents, coaches, trainers. Uh, my parents come tell me about it, and it's lifting heavy weights to get faster. So when you when you perceive somebody squatting or deadlifting heavy, the, the bar speed and the tempo is going to be slow. So I think it's safe to assume that because somebody's moving so slow, that's not going to enable them to move faster. But if we just look at physics, force equals mass times acceleration. The more force I put into an object or that I that I place on my body from the exertion of my muscles, the more I'm going to be able to accelerate at a given weight. So the more force you generate, the faster you're going to be able to accelerate. What generates the most force is going to be your max effort lifts, which is like your squat, your deadlift, and then all, all variations. Some are going to be better than others in terms of developing speed. I've written about this um, through various articles in my book and whatnot. We can kind of discuss that in a later segment. But the main thing is you need to squat or deadlift if you have aspirations of maximally accelerating and, and reaching a better top speed, regardless of your sport type or what have you. So the, the bar speed's lower, the tempo's lower, the physics states, the more fast, the more force that we can we can exert through our body, the greater we're going to be able to accelerate. And there's about two dozen studies that we've identified that correlate sprinting speed with maximum strength or being stronger. Um, another concern is that you know, you're not because you're only move, because you're moving so fast and you're operating with just your body weight. You're not going to be able to express all the strength that you develop in the weight room out on the, the field or the court or the track. And this is referred to as your explosive strength deficit, and it is a concern. So if you're going to vertical jump or you're going to sprint, say you can only use 20 to 30 percent of your maximum strength reserve. Uh, but your, if your reserve's higher, if you take that 20, 30 percent. That's still going to be higher too. So regardless, any way you look at it building maximal strength, you're going to be able to express more force in the appropriate directions if you have good technique and good form, and that's going to help make you faster. That's another thing with it. And then in, in terms of something that people don't recognize immediately too, is that in order to develop max strength, in order to sprint faster, you have to have life, high levels of coordination. We call it intermuscular and intramuscular coordination. So it's the coordination um, of a single muscle group being able to, to fire at the right time with the right effort, and then also the ability of multiple muscle groups that are involved in an act, say sprinting, the ability of those muscles to operate in harmony, um, to be able to exert, exert the, the greatest amount of force at the appropriate time. So your, your max effort, your strength training, your heavy strength training, your squats and your deadlift, they're gonna really be able to hone and develop that particular skill. Um, so your coordination is gonna be vastly improved with that type of training, which is gonna translate into faster running. There's other reasons why you want to do that, but I think those three uh, kind of led well to the topic. And uh, just be sure that you're integrating that with your athletes, especially in the off-season when fatigue's low and they're not involved in a lot of, of practice and competition. That way that they're fresh and they can get stronger. Thanks for watching.